He also had a race off pit road uh, at lap 325, which was won by Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson takes the lead into the restart, which was at lap 328. The restart attempt was official. Everybody got to the gate. The cars got to the line with no incidents, so that makes the restart official. Uh, white flag comes out, and then Eric Elmerilla coming out of turn four in the 34 car into the wall and into flames. <laughs> okay, uh, they got the, the fire out, and uh, D- uh, Eric Elmerilla came out okay. David Reagan, the 23 car, also got a little bit of action in that one, and then that was it. The white flag came out lap 330 and uh, lap 329, and then uh, it was all over by lap 330. And again, the top five finishers, Jimmy Johnson, the winner, Dale Jr. second, Kyle Busch third, uh, Kurt Boyers fourth, Carl Edwards in fifth. Heads up, Georgia 250 was Saturday's Xfinity Series event with 163 laps on the schedule for last Saturday. And you had a double header Saturday afternoon and Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening with the trucks. And uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, but you had Eric Jones, which took the lead uh, in the 20 car after the re- after the initial green flag. Then Kyle Busch would take the lead at uh, from end of lap one into the beginning of lap two and he would keep the lead actually all the way into lap five. Eric Jones has to serve a pass through penalty um, and uh, Kyle Busch retakes the lead. Eric Jones actually beat the pole sitter which was Kyle Busch uh, to the start finish line so that gets you popped. Um, Although Eric Jones' crew says that Kyle Busch was spinning his tires, so it made it look like Eric Jones jumped the line. Top three lap seven, Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez, and Kevin Harvick, which was the 18, the 19, and the double eight. First question comes out, lap eight, David Starr, his car smoking, and uh, David Starr driving the 44 car. And it was Ty Dillon's birthday on Saturday as well, so happy belated birthday. Um, actually, uh, ready control from uh, Kyle Bush saying, "Tell the twenty, I'm sorry." Okay, so Eric Jones there in the twenty car, and um, anyway, some penalties: uh, Russ Chastain, the f- number four car, pitting too soon, and number seventy four, Mike Harmon, crew over the wall too soon. Kyle Bush would take the lead uh, in in the restart into the restart, which was at lap eighteen. Lap 13, excuse me. Lap 13. Uh, lap 14, top three, Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez, and Kevin Harvick. Uh, Harvick would pop into uh, second. Suarez would jump down to third. But then question number two comes out, lap 15. Uh, Chris Crockham, the 25 car, got loose coming out of uh, uh, one of the turns, I think. But 17 cars pit for tires and fuel at this moment. Uh, the 99 team Todd Peck and Chris Cochran, the 25, both got penalties for pinning too soon. Uh, BJ McLeod, the 78, got popped for crew over the wall too soon. And um, 18 car of Kyle Busch comes into the, he takes the lead into the restart, which would be at lap 18. The top three lap 20 was Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Daniel Suarez, the 18, the 88, and the 19. Uh, and 30, as of lap 36, there was 30 cars on the lead lap. Top three, lap 40, was Ke- Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski came into first for a little bit. Kyle Busch and then Kyle Larson rounds out second and third. The belt, and Keselowski in the 22 car this Saturday, uh, followed by the 18 and the 42. And then question number three will come out at lap 49 for Ray Black Jr. in the 07 car. Debris from the 07 car. Uh, Harrison Rose, the 97 car, would be the lucky dog. Um, and this actually happened. This question came out actually in the middle of a round of green flag pit stop. It was a green flag pit stop and then the question came out. Uh, Race off of pit road won by uh, Justin Algea 
The top five was uh, Justin Allen, Jeb Burton, Kozlowski, Elliot Sadler, Brandon Poole, and Jeb Burton. A uh, couple penalties. Uh, Ryan Sieg, the 39 car, popped for a spinning on pit road. And uh, Ray Black Jr., he winds up going into the garage. Justin LJ of the 7 car, takes the lead into the restart, which would be lap 55. Top three of lap 55 was Justin LJ, Elliot Sadler, and Jeb Burton. The 7, the 1, and the 43. Brad Keselowski um, would take first place at lap 67. Al Jaya would drop down to second and then back down to third. By lap 70, it was Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, and Justin Al Jaya topping the top three. That would be 22, the 18, and the 7. Kyle Busch takes the lead, however. Then at lap 80, you had Kyle Busch, Keselowski, and Kyle Larson first, second, and third. Lap 84 would mark the race halfway mark. Lap 86, 17 cars on the lead lap. And then, um, all of a sudden, there's Paul Menard, who moves into third pl place, okay? And then he had a another round of green flake pit stops at lap 99. Uh, Dow Wallace Jr. spins going into pit road, no caution, uh, to keep it in the green. Um, and then, uh, penalties during this round of green flake pit stops, which was like around, uh, in the 90... Around the late 90s into the early 100s, um, uh, Ryan Reed, uh, the 16 car, he gets popped for speeding on pit road, and Jeremy Clemens, driver of the 51, uh, the 51 team gets popped for a crew over the wall too soon. Both uh, have to serve a pass through. Eric Jones and Paul Menard uh, also speeding on pit road. Eric Jones, the 20, Paul Menard in the 2. Um, and then, let's see here. Oh, Brad Keselowski had an issue. Um, what happened was, inside the pit, inside pit road wall, okay, the wall of the old Jambova, uh, there was a crack in there, and the hose, air hose, got stuck in there. So they had some issues with that on Saturday night, which was kind of funny. Uh, Kyle Busch has, at lap 120, has clocked in 76 laps, uh, has led 76 laps at this time, and then question number 4 would come out at lap 22, uh, 122, which was for Joey Gase, the 52 car, hits the wall, the lucky, in turn 3, lucky dog was Brandon Jones, in the, well, they originally called it Brandon Jones, the 33, as the lucky dog, but then they changed it, and, and, it, and it came out that, that Ty Dolan would be the Lucky Dog in the three. Race off pit road at lap 125, and uh, the race off pit road top five was Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Paul Menard, uh, Eric Jones, and Daniel Suarez. But Kyle Busch would take it into the lead to the restart lap 127. Then lap 128, question number five, and that would be Darrell Wallace Jr., his car smoking. Kevin Hart becomes the Lucky Dog there, uh, and such. Uh, right, and then Elliot Sadler, the number one car, he would take the lead into the restart, which would be at lap 134. Top three, lap 135, Kyle Busch, Paul Menard, and Kyle Larson. And then at lap 140, a slight bump between the 7 and the 33. At lap 142, Kyle Busch with a 1.5 second lead over the second place, Kyle Larson. Um, let's see, and then that was it. White flag comes out lap 162. This race would finish up at around 3.37 p.m. And the top five finishes would be Kyle Busch, the winner. Kyle Larson comes in second. Eric Jones comes in third. Paul Menard comes in fourth. And Ty Dillon would come in in fifth. And that would be the eighth, 42 to 20 to 2 and a 3. And uh, the first Xfinity Toyota win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And then after that, you had the trucks, and I mentioned it before plenty of times. I love the trucks. Trucks is one of my, you know, uh, is one of my favorites, and uh, I really enjoy it. Like watching the truck race. Now, after there's not another truck race until April second, okay, um, and that's when they'll actually be racing. They're going to be racing at Martinsville, um, which I believe. So you got three weeks right now, because the NASCAR starts the. The West Coast Swing. And then when they get back, which will be, okay, so they got uh, Las Vegas coming up this weekend. Then it's Phoenix, and then the Auto Club Speedway out in California. And then they head back east to Martinsville. And uh, so you get the first, the first short track race of the season. Well, it was the Great Clips 200 on Saturday with 130 laps on the table. 
start time was 4.45 and the race finished up at 6.30. So about an hour and 15 minutes was that truck race on Saturday. Johnny started with some electrical problems prior to the race. I think they said something about the ignition box. Um, and unfortunately, he had to start the race in the rear, and his starting position was 16th. Top three at lap three had Matt Craft and Christopher, Chris Bell, Christopher Bell and Cameron Haley. That'd be the 88, the 4, and the 13 Chucks. Um, and Matt Craft, man, I thought was going to win this one, and he had a bad wreck towards the end of the race, which was caused by the 4. Going into the 51, causing the 51 to go into the 88, causing the 88 to go into the wall. Um, and I explained that on Monday on uh, RP Express. Um, so now you had Christopher Bell who took the lead at lap 7. Then Matt Crafton pops into the lead at lap 10. Christopher Bell again lap 11. And they would go back and forth. Uh, lap, tw lap 12, uh, Christopher Bell would hold on to the lead for a little bit. In fact, at lap 15, there was a top three of Christopher Bell, Matt Crafton, and Cameron Haley for an 88 in the 13. Matt Crafton would take the lead, however, back at lap 27. Uh, Christopher Bell pits with a front tire issue. Right front shredded rubber. Uh, this tire was just shredded up. Um, but then lap three, top th uh, th uh, lap thirty, top three. Matt Crafton, Spencer Gallagher, and Willen Byron first, second, and third. And that would be the eighty-eight, the twenty-three, and the nine. Lap thirty-two, Christopher Bell would wind up dropping one lap down. Question number one comes out, lap 37, and this is the uh, because the competition clock, question, no, the question clock, as they call it, expired, and this would be the first expiration of the clock, history in the making, actually the first time ever that the uh, question clock actually expired, <laughs> uh, bringing out this question, and the rule is that trucks are not required to pit during this competition question. Um, let's see. Race off pit road. Uh, I forget what lap that was, which was won by Matt Kraft in the 88 truck. Uh, Travis Vapel got a penalty. He, he was driving the number one truck and he got popped for crew over the wall too soon. Um, and then Matt Kraft would take the lead into the restart, which would be at lap 42. Question clock would reset. Now, the question clock keeps resetting, but when they get down to the last 20 laps, the clock shuts off completely so therefore the clock is not in play when you get down to the last 20 laps question number two will come out lap 59 William Byron in the number nine truck his truck smoking right there um, and then Trix Jr. in the 81 truck crew over the wall too soon and oh what happened with this was there was uh, a guy one of the, the crew was sitting on the wall sitting sitting on the wall and had his legs over on the uh, over the side and uh, that's how they got popped with the crew over the wall too soon. Believe it or not that's what caused it. Um, and then you had Brandon Brown in the 86 truck. He was popped for speeding on pit road. Uh, Matt Crafton takes the lead into lap to the restart which would be lap 69 um, and the backtrack a little bit lap 65 would mark the race halfway mark which was reached under caution. Johnny Sada issues, um, he, ha he has the pit road, he has some problems with his truck, uh, I forget what it was, around lap 43. Top three at lap 45 was Matt Crafton, Spencer Gallagher, and William Byron, once again, the 88, 23, and the 9, and at lap 50, the top three would remain the same. John Hunter Nemechek gets loose but saves it, almost clips the 81 of the Ryan Truex truck, and that would be at lap 50. Top three lap 70 would be Matt Crafton, Spencer Gallagher, and Daniel Suarez, the 88 to 23, and the 51. Uh, ben Rose, the 51 truck, um, he got loose and got and saved it, uh, and uh, almost got clipped by Cole Custer. Cole Custer did some good getting out of the way. Christopher Bell climbs back to third place, and then you had a top three at lap 88, which was Matt Crafton, Spencer Gallagher, and Christopher Bell. And that would be the 88, the 23, and the 4. However, at lap 90, Christopher Bell would climb into second, and Spencer Gallagher would drop down into third. Lap 100 top three was Christopher Bell, Matt Crafton, Spencer Gallagher still, and uh, 
Daniel Suarez moves into third for a little bit right before question number three comes out. And this, once again, was for the competition clock expiring, or the question clock. Uh, that would be at lap 105. Um, Christopher Bell overshoots his pit box and almost 